looking at what has happened over the weekend and the advances the Ukrainian army uh, are seemingly making, what's your analysis? Well, I think we're again at um, a pivotal point. The Ukrainian forces have done incredibly well. Um, I think as we've discussed before, the Russian forces have been very poor. And um, these uh, suggestions that atrocities and genocide have taken place and the, the pictures look very real and the evidence is gathering shows an indisciplined force um, in retreat. Uh, it's pretty clear that the Russians have been defeated around Kiev and the northern part of uh, Ukraine. Uh, the, the difficult thing is, what, what, what do we do now to support the Ukrainian people who have so bravely fought off this uh, terrible invasion? Because you know anything through the United Nations, the Russians no doubt will veto, and some of their unsavory partners. Uh, but it's very important that we do follow up. We get people in there to get the evidence so that at one, some stage, hopefully in the near future, that Putin and some of his cronies do um, get, get the International Criminal Court. But we also need to keep supporting the Ukrainian military. They're going to have a hell of a fight in the south. Uh, Odessa seems to be the next uh, focus for the Russians. But let's hope also, with the Russian army in defeat, perhaps we can sue for peace. And most important, as you said in your piece, we've got to get this information out there of these atrocities. We've got to let the Russian people know what is happening in their name so that they can unseat um, this dictator who is creating so much death and destruction in Ukraine.